anybody can become a top player in any video game. Anybody can become that S tier player that they really hope and dream of doing. It's not about luck. It really, sometimes it's about luck, but nine times out of 10, it's about skill and acquiring a skill and skills can be learned, created. You can become that top gamer. What's up dreamers, welcome to Driving Driving. You, I wanna talk about becoming a top gamer. I, I focus on the competitive gaming scene. There's a lot of people who struggle to hit ranks that they wanna hit, to hit leagues that they wanna hit. And I, I could tell you, if I talk to 10 competitive gamers who are in that state, that mental state right now, and I asked them, what are you doing outside of video games? They would probably say, um, you know, probably work, school, whatever it may be, but I would tell, I could tell you right now, they would probably not say that they're focusing on their health. Nine times out of 10. There are gonna be those people who are focusing on their health, but they, it's not talked about enough for people to understand the importance and the impact your overall well being and what you do outside of the game has on your gaming performance. If you wanna perform well in game, if you wanna be an S tier gamer, you wanna be a professional gamer, you absolutely, you do not have a choice. You have to pay attention to what you're doing outside of your game. You have to pay attention to your health, your physical and your, especially your mental health because it is a lot of mental game here. So let's go to an example. Uh, we'll talk about football, baseball, basketball. These are sports, right? And so is eSports. eSports is an actual sport. This windshield just doesn't want to, ah, my face. Anyways, eSports is an actual sport, okay? That's why it's called eSports. So you are an athlete. As you're competing, you are an athlete. It is important for these football players, they know this, they have to be in top health to be able to perform, these baseball players, these hockey players, to be able to perform at a professional level. They need to be physically and mentally with it. Why would it be any different for somebody playing video games who needs to use an intense amount of cognition, who needs to have that reaction time as quick as any other player in the game? Uh, there is no difference. There is no difference between the sports. So your health is, is overly important. Think about it. Think about it. And I know everybody who's watching this has gotten sick at some point. Everybody who's watching this video. If you've gotten sick in the past and you played video games, did you perform as well as you usually do? If you got continuously bad sleep for four or five days in a row and you just felt so off, and you felt like you could, you know, you you felt like you were thinking a little bit slower. Did you play as well as you did the times that you did get good sleep and were thinking as uh, quicker? No, the answer is no. You just, I mean, you physically cannot do it. Your body is unable to compensate, regardless of what kind of supplements or food or whatever else you think you're going to put into your body. It's not going to help long-term short term maybe give you a short-term boost but even mid game that's you know that's not like the most ideal it's not it's really not going to help you very much i'm gonna be honest from trial and error from lots of lots of learning i'm telling you your health is one of the most important assets you have your controller is very important your keyboard your mouse your monitor all of the peripherals are important but the number one peripheral that you have is you and it's important to take care of your health your sleep your nutrition, your exercise. You gotta get up and get moving. You gotta get outside, breathe in some actual real air, touch grass. I know people joke about that. It's <clears throat> funny to an extent, but there is a, there is like a health crisis going on. So it's, it's only as funny as it is. I lost my train of thought, but it's just like, you actually have to go out and not necessarily touch grass, but walk in nature, walk outside. It's very important to help you with your cognition. It'll boost your cognition. It'll boost your reaction time. You'll be able to outplay opponents. You'll be able to achieve dreams and goals that you may not have in the past if you are in tip-top shape, okay? Both mentally and, and physically. If you have anything to add, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I would love to get this conversation started. Hit that like button for more, and subscribe button for more content like this. Hope to see everybody in the next video. Later, dreamers!